All right, guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on adding green screen effects, as you saw. First, you want to go to YouTube and find the green screen effect that you want. It's important to know what type of video you're going to be putting this in so you can make sure the footage that you record matches what you need. I wanted this simple jet that I'm going to add into my video. So as you can see, that was the sample video right there. I'm going to go to this YouTube downloader online and just download that video. Make sure you don't break any copyrights or infringe on anybody else's rights. Um, just download stuff that's only free or that people have made copyright free. This is the video I filmed. I know it's only a few seconds long, but you want to film something that really matches the video. So I filmed a shot just looking straight ahead and it goes up as if a jet's flying over. Now we're going to add our green screen effect as a layer. So you want to add it in as a layer and then I'm going to trim off all of the sample footage that came in the beginning. This file came with a bunch of sample footage before the actual green screen video. So we trim that off and we're left with just the green screen. And I move it over as you can see the green overlay and then the jet comes into the view. So now we need to match up the motion of the jet with the motion of our camera or the video that we've already recorded. You do that by a little bit of trimming and moving the video around. As you can see here, I'm just trying to scale through or scroll through and make sure it matches up. You're basically just aligning it with your video to make it look as realistic as possible. And the jet goes off the top of the screen, so I want it to be going off the top of my screen, obviously. If the jet left in the middle of your screen, it wouldn't look right. Now we go into our chroma key settings for that layer and you need to match the green color as closely as you can to the green color on the green screen video. And you can go into your detail settings here or detail curves and tweak those to make it match as closely as possible. That way you don't have any green surrounding your overlay. So I've made that look as realistic as I can. Now I'm going to go back out and make sure everything lines up. You can see the jet come into frame and then it leaves the top of the frame as it should. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to go ahead and export it. Now here's a look at our final exported footage.